Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marles Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Science 6 and I am Sir Mar. Good day kids! Today we are going to study Earthquake and Volcanic Eruption. Earth continuously changes over time. Earthquake and volcanic activities modify the landscape in a random and remarkable way. Over a long period of time, the changes become observable as the slow movement of the plates takes effect. Alright kids, let us define what is an earthquake. Earthquake is a sudden movement or vibration of the crust, the Earth's rocky outer layer. It is caused when rock masses suddenly shift in position. As the rock masses shift into position, the energy stored in the rock masses is transmitted onto the surface into the form of seismic earthquake waves. Earthquakes happen when two large pieces of the Earth's crust suddenly slip. So this is a picture of the Earth's crust suddenly slip, and then this causes shock waves to shake the surface of the Earth in the form of an earthquake. As you can see in the picture, children, this will happen during an earthquake. When an earthquake happens, a rupture and sudden movement of the Earth's crust. It happens when crustal plates move. So what is a crustal plate? A crustal plates are the outer shell of the Earth, while the surface along which the crust moves is called a fault line. Okay, so is there an instrument used to measure an earthquake? A seismometer is an instrument that responds to ground noises and shaking such as caused by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and explosions. They are usually combined with a timing device and a recording device to form a seismograph. So a seismometer is an instrument that can measure an earthquake and volcanic eruptions as well as explosions. When an earthquake happened, there are energy being released from the ground and also a strength came from the earthquake. What is the energy and strength being released when an earthquake happens? When an earthquake happened, there is a magnitude and intensity. Okay, children, let us define what is a magnitude and intensity. When we say magnitude, it is the energy released by an earthquake at the focus. It is calculated from earthquakes recorded by an instrument called seismograph. While an intensity, it is the strength of an earthquake perceived and felt by people in a certain locality. Intensity is generally higher near the epicenter. Okay, children, let us try to differentiate magnitude and intensity of an earthquake. So, magnitude is a quantitative measure of its strength in terms of energy released, while the intensity of an earthquake is measured qualitatively in terms of damages caused by it at a particular location. So, in general, larger the earthquake, greater is the intensity. So, magnitude of an earthquake is a measure of its size, while intensity is an indicator of the severity of shaking generated at a given location. Okay, children. So, aside from magnitude and intensity, we also have the focus and the epicenter of an earthquake. So, when we say focus, it is the actual location where fault movement begins. So the focus is this one. So almost every earthquake has its focus located below at the Earth's surface. So the point within Earth where rock under stress breaks is called the focus. 
Next is the epicenter. The point at the land surface directly above the focus and is the location normally reported in the news or shown on maps is called the epicenter. So this is the epicenter. The point directly above the focus on the surface is the epicenter. Okay, children, so let us now proceed with the types of natural earthquakes. We have two kinds of natural earthquakes, the tectonic earthquake and the volcanic earthquakes. Let us define what is a tectonic earthquake. So it says here that tectonic earthquakes produced by sudden movement along faults and plate boundaries. As you can see in the picture, this is a kind of tectonic earthquakes. And number two, we have the volcanic earthquakes produced by the movement of magma beneath the volcanoes. So this is a kind of volcanic earthquake. So now, let us try to differentiate these two natural earthquakes. Okay, children, the difference between these two kinds of earthquake is the tectonic earthquake causes collapse of the different structures while the volcanic earthquake causes explosion. Okay, so it seems that you already know what is an earthquake. Let us now proceed with the volcanic eruption. What is the cause of volcanic eruption? A volcano tectonic earthquake is an earthquake caused by the movement of magma beneath the surface of the earth. The movement results in pressure changes where the rock around the magma has experienced stress. At some point, this stress can cause the rock to break or move. It happens due to the following reasons. When the pressure within the magma chamber is greater than the strength of the crust, it begins to break through. Next is when the gases inside the magma chamber are mixed with magma, the bubbles of a gas rise to the surface of the magma chamber, pushing against the Earth's crust. Once the chamber is overload of magma, an eruption is sure to occur. Can scientists predict an earthquake? Unfortunately, scientists cannot predict earthquakes. The best they can do today is point out where fault lines are so we know where earthquakes are likely to occur. So, fun facts about earthquakes. The largest earthquake ever recorded in the world was in Chile in 1960. It measured a 9.6 on the Richter scale. And the largest in the U.S. was a 9.2 magnitude in Alaska in 1964. They can cause huge waves in the ocean called tsunamis. Movement of tectonic plates has formed large mountain ranges like the Himalayas and the Andes. Earthquakes can happen in any kind of weather. Okay, children, so to summarize our lesson for today, when we say earthquake, it is the sudden movement or vibration of the crust, the Earth's rocky outer layer. And when we say volcanic earthquake, it is an earthquake caused by the movement of magma beneath the surface of the Earth. And that's the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching. I am Sir Mar and please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget also to click the bell button to keep updated to our next lesson.